Hi, this is JD from Not the Lights of Arkham. This time I'm testing out one of the competition entries for my New Year's competition. And it's the Armor of Anderson deck featuring Leo Anderson and the Armor of Ardennes. So the suggested scenario was Depths of Yacht, and I decided to play the Return to Depths of Yacht version as I haven't played it before. Uh, first, let's look at the Leo's deck. So we have, of course, two copies of Armor of Ardennes, which is the uh, binder for their card for this deck. It is a decent card, but uh, you seldom see it in a deck, as it costs 5 experience to include in the deck, and the deck needs to be pretty specific, as you can see, to utilize the card. Uh, with Leo, now you can play Lonnie Ritter, so you have a pretty good damage and horror soak in Lonnie Ritter and armor of Ardennes comboing off of each other. Then, of course, uh, because armor of Ardennes has good combat and will symbols, well prepared combos, really good with it. And also in the theme of the deck, uh, there are two copies of Lesson Learned. So if I'm taking damage from an attack and there are clues on my location, I can just Lesson Learn the clues off. But uh, there are many other synergies in the deck, but I'm not going through all of them here. Uh, let's see how the deck works. So let's get into the scenario. So we are playing the return to depths of yacht. So one of the big changes for this is that we have a different kind of uh, exploration deck. There are no treacheries in it before we managed to uh, successfully uh, explore, but there is perils of yacht, which is uh, a quite nasty treachery to get in the lower levels of the scenario, but more on that when we hit it. So that gets shuffled in the exploration deck, and every time we build the deck again, it gets shuffled back in. Uh, then, uh, as we are playing on standalone mode, there is no way of winning the scenario. My goal is to get to level 5. But after anything after that is a bonus, and uh, because you can choose how much vengeance is uh, or vengeance points are in the game, uh, so zero to five is like a easy way to play it. Uh, I decided to have an average experience with ten vengeance points already because. Uh, Leo would probably be killing some snakes and getting some uh, vengeance points throughout the game, uh, throughout a campaign. So that's why I'm starting with 10. That means uh, we remove one uh, agenda card, so we start from agenda 2A. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that also affects that when we get uh, far enough in the scenario, Yik will start following us, but uh, <laughs> that is, I think, all I want to talk about the scenario, so uh, we are ready to start, so let's get started. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so let's draw our opening hand. So I'm looking for the armor and uh, Loni. So let's see what we get. Uh, survival knife, easy mark. Lesson learned, vicious blow, and we reshovel the reckless. Okay, so I think I'm keeping the survival knife and bitching everything else. So let's dig. Uh, we find Mitch Brown, guard dog. Uh, lesson learned and uh, ever vigilant. Okay, well. Mm, 
that is a decent start because now we can uh, use Ever Vigilant to get Mitch Brown and the Guard Dog into play right from the start. Or uh, I think rather we should play Mitch Brown with our uh, free ability. Uh, well, it, it really doesn't matter. We are uh, playing the Ever Vigilant and playing three assets either way. So, let's see. I am playing the Ever Vigilant. So now we can play three assets with a discount. So Mitch costs two, uh, Guard Dog costs two, and the Survival Knight costs one. Okay, well, this is a really efficient way to get stuff down. We are left with the lesson learned in hand. Uh, so, second action. I think I'm just trying to investigate so that we can start exploring. So, let's uh, remove these resources. And uh, the Depth is 1 at the moment, so uh, skulls are minus 1 and all that. So, um, uh, 3 versus 2, it's a uh, elder thing, it's a minus 2. There is no uh, vengeance points in the victory display, so we just try to investigate again. Oh, and uh, Shroud is plus one here for each uh, point in the victory, uh, vengeance point in the victory display, which is zero. So let's try again, and uh, minus two, so we fail. Oh well, um, maybe we manage to explore next turn. But now we uh, go to upkeep because there's no enemies, so uh, we draw the. 32 cold, gain one resource, and that is that turn. So let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda. Encounter card is so uh, there isn't any special uh, thing on the agenda yet, but later there will be. So first encounter card of the game is uh, best played plans peril. You must either choose one lose two action, shuffle the top card of the encounter deck into the exploration deck. I think I'm fine shuffling one encounter card here. We really don't want to slow ourselves down too much. Uh, so first action. I think I'm just uh, investigating again. So three versus two. And it's a skull, which is a minus one, so we get this clue. Second action will uh, explore, so we get the broken passage, which is connected, so I'll just put it over here. And uh, I think uh, last action will just move back. Because if we are exploring from here, uh, we are not getting that many new symbols. Oh yeah, and we shuffle one encounter card into the uh, exploration deck. So we might as well try to explore more from the bridge of Nakai and not add Doom. Okay, well, uh, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get the enchanted blade. Gain one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda. Encounter card is creeping poison. We are not poisoned, so it just searches. Uh, serpent's ire. If there are no serpent enemies in pursuit, it can search. There are none yet, so we just search. And we get the Eater of the Depths. Spawn. Put a random set aside location into play and spawn either of the deaths there. Hunter massive. So we pick uh, one of these set aside 
locations at random. And it spawns at the crumbling precipice. So that is connected to both of these. So this is a big guy. I think we want to either kill it or run away from it. And at the moment killing it would be a good idea because it it will be a problem later. Okay, well mm, First action. I think I'm. Uh, should I go there and chat? Yeah, well, we're not that good at evading it, and. Uh, so, um, we will have to explore. So, we get the City of, city of Serpents, which is not connected. And uh, abandoned site is not connected, and steps of yacht that is connected. But the problem here is that we need three um, clues, and we only have one. And uh, there are no clues on any of the locations in play. Well, let's see, uh, this really doesn't help us that much. Well, we now know where we have to go at the end, but other than that, that either of the depths is gonna be a real problem. Uh, second action, I think I'll take a resource and last action. I'll play the Enchanted Blade, and uh, this is because we will try to kill off the Eater of the Depths when it comes to us. So, now uh, we go to enemy phase, this uh, moves here. It's massive, so it's just here and tries to hit, hit us, so we'll use the survival knife. So we are... I think I'm uh, committing the cult, so we have a better chance of hitting. So we are hitting 7 versus 5. And we get the minus two, and there are no mentions points, so we hit and deal two damage. And then it hits us for two, horror, and three damage. One goes onto the guard dock, which we will exhaust to deal one damage here. I'll put one on Mitch and take one on myself. Mitch takes one horror, and I'll take one horror. Okay, well, next turn we could try to enchant the blade and hit it twice to kill it off. But we'll see how the next turn goes. So I think that is that turn. Uh, we go to upkeep. We get psychosis. Not a good time to get psychosis down. Again, one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a doom, so we advance the agenda. So, Fountain of Venom. Find the enemy that is in pursuit with the highest evade value, but well, there are none. Check your supplies. We have no supplies. So, 
nothing happens. Then we have uh, Agenda 3A, Endless Caverns, and the Doom Threshold is 4. And uh, we get an encounter card, and it is Vengeful Serpent. Well, how annoying. I think uh, the first thing we have to do is to kill off the Vengeful Serpent. Well, uh, I think we need to prioritize to kill the Eater of the Depths. So first action we'll use the Enchanted Blade. So we are one up. Uh, we are six versus five. And it's a zero, where we deal two damage, so we need one more damage to kill this off. Then I'll hit with the survival knife. It has uh, plus two, we don't have to spend a resource. So we are fighting six versus five. And uh, I think we're. If we hit this, we'll try to kill off the Vengeful Serpent with the Enchanted Blade. Okay, so a zero. So we managed to kill off this monstrosity. It goes to the victory display. It's worth victory too. We really don't care that much. But uh, happy to see it die. So it won't be a bad bother later and uh, last action oh yeah this should be ready I'll use the enchanted blade to kill off this vengeful serpent because there is nothing else to do with our last action so this way we have two chances to kill off the serpent it's a cultist so we are 6 versus 2 and it's a plus 1 so we succeed and this guy is dead goes to the victory display as it's vengeance 0 and that is our turn so no enemies we go to upkeep we draw a card we get another survival knife and we gain a resource so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add a Doom to the agenda, and counter cards for this turn is Children of Volusia. Uh, Revelation put Children of Volusia in play next to the agenda deck. Each Serpent enemy gets plus one fight and plus one evade. Forced at the end of the round, discard one copy of Children of Volusia from the play. Max once per round. So luckily that, that doesn't do that much at the moment. I think the first two actions is to get rid of the Psychosis. Second action is to investigate. Uh, actually, uh, I mean explore. So we really need to find a location with clues. So exploring uh, best laid plans. Well, uh, only thing we can do is to shuffle one encounter card into the encounter deck. So the Exploration fails, and that is our whole turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep. This goes away, we draw a card. We get the armor, finally, and we gain one resource. So next turn, I think we get one resource and get the armor down. And we are off to... Trying to assemble the combo with armor and some other cards. But that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, Encounter card is uh, Bathhop Phobia, Revelation, Test Willpower 1, this test gets plus 1 difficulty where X is the current depth level, if you fail take 2 horror. So I'm just testing 4 versus 2, <laughs> and it's an auto fail, so we take 2 horror. No, nothing we can do about it, unfortunately. 
and then uh, we'll get one resource second action we'll play the armor and last action we'll explore usually I'm not that keen on exploring on the last action but we have the survival knife and a good damage redux uh, reduction on the armor so I'm I'm confident I'm not uh, too badly injured if I hit an enemy or something like that. So we find the city of serpents. Well, this helps us a bit because uh, there's a clue on it and it's connected to the steps of Yoth. But now I have to check where else this is connected. Uh, it, it looks like it's not connected to anything else, so we'll just put it over here. Okay, well, uh, we need to get this clue next turn, but that is that turn. Let's go to the uh, enemy phase, and nothing uh, upkeep, we draw a card, uh, we hit paranoia. Uh, discard all of your resources. Well, no resources to discard, then we gain one resource. So we had a pretty lucky break there, the paranoia. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. Uh, we are of three or four doom and count guardies. Oh, yeah, uh, before uh, we uh, look what the encounter card is, I think I forgot to shuffle one. Count card in, into here. So I'll do that now. Then we get an encounter card. <laughs> it's the Serpent of Yoth. So it's 355 five health and 3 evade humanoid monster serpent. And there are one or more vengeance points in the victory display. It gains retaliate with two or more, it gains hunter, and with three or more, it takes one less damage for each attack made against it. So I think this turn we will just try to kill this guy off because in uh, later if we keep on getting this guy it, it starts getting really nasty. So we are not making that much progress but we are at least killing off all of these enemies. So uh, first action I'll use the enchanted blade I'm hitting uh, 6 versus 3, it's a 0, so we deal 2 damage. Then uh, we basically need to hit once with the survival knife, so I'm hitting with the survival knife. So uh, 6 versus 3, it's a minus 2, we hit. and. Uh, We'll just hit for one more time. That this is in case we miss with the survival knife in the enemy phase, and we take damage. We can put one damage on guard dog to get one damage here to defeat it if we hit for this attack. So six versus three. It's a minus two. So we hit. And that is our whole turn. So enemy phase, this guy starts to attack. We'll use the survival knife. Six versus two. Uh, six versus three, I mean. <laughs> it's a minus five. So this guy gets to hit us. So lucky we did our plan B here. So we'll take one here. Exhaust the guard dog and kill this off, but we still take the uh, one damage, uh, one horror on the guard dog also, one damage, uh, one horror on myself. Actually, yeah, I, I think we must uh, sacrifice the guard dog, because uh, otherwise we are losing too much sanity. So at least this guy is dead and we get it 
directly into the victory display, so it won't bother us again in this scenario. And we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get easy mark, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We advance the agenda. So, uh, deep below the earth, there are no enemies in the pursuit, so we skip that. The lead investigator chooses one investigator with beat group scout. Uh, we don't have any supplies, so if the scout doesn't have rope, your team must test uh, strength, three, strength or agility 5, and we take one physical trauma. Well, uh, physical trauma is not that bad, because we have plenty of health to go with. So I'm just testing uh, for the five, yeah. And it's an elder sign. Elder sign is uh, plus two, so we succeed, so we don't take anything. But we can also check our uh, deck, so we get treasure hunter, and that is quite good because now we can play it, and uh, we have some more soak and also better intellect for investigating so right, uh, free triggered ability uh, we'll play the treasure hunter for free with the discount first action uh, we will investigate i could have used actually now that i remember lesson learned last turn but i forgot too bad. So investigating uh, four versus three. I think I'm fine going five versus three. I'll commit the easy mark. It's a zero. We grab this clue. So now this location is considered to be in the victory display. So there are two vengeance points in the victory display. Second action, uh, we have to try and explore to find a last location to get the last clue and we hit the brood of yik so uh, last action we'll just hit this guy with the survival knife so this guy is now for it uh, four versus four versus six because i'm hitting with the survival knife it's a minus two, we just hit it. Enemy face, it tries to hit us, so we'll use the survival knife. I'll actually... I, I would rather play the survival knife, actually. So we have two survival knives. Yeah. So, um, four versus... Uh, six versus four. So we hit uh, cultists, and hopefully we don't fail, and we hit a skull, which is a minus one, so we kill this guy off, luckily, and then we go to upkeep, we draw a card, uh, we have to pay, uh, we gain one resource and we pay one resource to keep the treasure hunter around. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda, and count card for this turn is Pit Warden. So spawn, if Yik is in play, spawn Pit Warden at Yik's location, otherwise place it, uh, Pit Warden in the pursuit area, Hunter. So I'll just put the pursuit area next to uh, Leo, so I'll just pile them here. Well, I think first action, I'll play the other survival knife. Second action, we will explore. So uh, we hit children of Fallujah, we'll just put it in play. We'll explore again. And Bathobia. 
we are getting really unlucky with those. Uh, well, there are a lot of uh, encountered cards in the exploration deck at the moment, so let's just uh, test this. Uh, we are testing 4 versus 2. It's minus 1, so we pass, so nothing happens. So, yeah, that was our whole turn. Uh, this goes away. No enemies. We draw well maintained. We gain one resource and we pay one for the treasure hunter. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom to the agenda. Encounter card for this turn is uh, best laid plans. Uh, I think I have to think about it. Yeah, well, uh, we'll just shuffle one here. Okay. So, um, uh, there is nothing much for us to do than to try and explore. So, exploring. And uh, abandoned site. And it is connected. Nice. And it's actually connected there also. And here. Well, uh, it doesn't matter. There is a clue there. So, it, uh, shroud is X, where X is the depth level. So, the shroud is 1. We'll explore. Uh, we'll investigate, rather. So, investigating 4 versus. One, it's a zero, so we grab this clue, and last action will go to the steps of Yoth. And then, at the end of the round, if the investigator's step of Yoth possess the requisite number of clues, they may advance. So, luckily we, we have the clues, so now we can get to <laughs> level 2. Enemy face, no enemies, upkeep. We draw a card, both in blood. So I think bye bye treasure hunter. Or I think we can let Mitch Mitch die. Yeah. So we'll keep the treasure hunter around for a bit longer. We can release one resource and we pay one resource. Then we advance. So one level one level deeper. Add one resource to the scenario card. Each investigator is not in the step of Yoth is left behind and is defeated. Each surviving investigator loses each of his or her clues. Move each enemy in play to that pursuit area. Remove all doom from locations in play. Set each location in play and the exploration deck aside. Out of play, investigators are not defeated during this process. Random, uh, draw a random set aside location other than Seps of Yoth. Put it into play and place each surviving investigator at that location. Create a new exploration deck consisting of Steps of Yacht and four other random set aside locations. Shuffle exploration deck. Flip the sect attack over journey as deep as you can. So let's uh, do this uh, setup quickly. So we set this aside. And let's check. We'll put that aside too. This location. Okay. Well, that goes into the discard. Okay, so we pick one at random. So we start at the caverns of Yoth on the next level. Then we pick four locations at random and we set the rest aside out of play and we add the perils of Yoth and steps of Yoth into the exploration deck. Shuffle these. And next turn we are ready to 
start exploring the uh, second level. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom and counter card for this turn is Avengeable Serpent, which means this guy also comes into play. And <laughs> that is something I really didn't want to see at this moment. So, well, that that is quite annoying. Well, uh, I think we'll try to defeat the, this first one by using a vicious blow and hitting with the survival knife. So we are hitting seven versus two. It's a minus one, so the first one is dead. Second one will hit. Uh, we hit and deal one damage. And we'll just try to kill it off. And it's an auto fail, so we miss. So enemy face, it tries to hit us. Uh, we'll use the first survival knife to hit it. <laughs> we use the second survival knife to hit it. This auto fail is so annoying. And it's a zero, so we managed to defeat it. And that is the enemy face, so upkeep. We draw a card, uh, we get the thing that follows. And there are, uh, well, location for this for me is the location I am in. So it spawns on us. Well, that is just so funny. Usually I don't even have to deal with this guy, but uh, this time it, it just spawns on us right away. And we gain one resource which we use for the treasure hunter. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. So the agenda advances. This is not looking that good at the moment. So if the Harpbringer of Valusia is set aside, move it to the pursuit area. Find the enemy that is in the first area with the highest evade value, then and spawn it at the location where the investigator began to at the step level. So now we have the Heartbringer on us also. And now, Fury that shakes the earth, agenda 5a. Uh, paused. After the third doom is placed on this agenda, find the enemy that is in pursuit with the highest evade value and spawn it at the end at the location where the investigators began at this depth level. And we have a threshold of 5 doom. So now uh, that guy in the pursuit area will uh, attack us when we hit 5 doom. Uh, I mean 3 doom on the agenda. But first we need to deal with these two. So I think the first action is to just uh, hit this guy twice to get rid of it. So first action we'll hit. Oh yeah, before that we get an encounter card, which I many times forget. And it's a brood of Yik, so we have enemies for days. So I think uh, the survival knives will be our lifesavers, but First, we need to hit every attack this round. Okay, let's see how we do. So, first action, we'll hit the Harpbringer. Oh yeah, this should be ready. So, I'm hitting uh, 6 versus 2. 0. We deal 1 damage and put 1 resource on the Harpbringer. Second action, we'll hit again. 6 versus 2. Minus 2, we hit. So the Harpbringer is uh, removed from play. Luckily. But then we still have these two to deal with. So, uh, last action for this round. I'll try to hit the uh, Brood of Yik. And it is... 
yeah, there's no vengeance points in the victory display, so we are hitting six versus two. And it's an elder sign. So we hit the treasure hunter and pick that up. And uh, we deal on damage. And that is around enemy face. The thing that follows attacks, I'll use one of the survival knives. Hitting uh, 6 versus 3. It's a minus one, so the thing that follows is defeated. So uh, Leo is just murdering everything. Then we use the other survival knife to hide off the brood of Yig. Six versus two. It's a minus one, so this guy is also defeated. So <laughs> we are pretty much murdering everything that's thrown at us, but that means we are not advancing at all. So. Uh, I think this is turn whatever, and we are only at uh, level 2. So that is the enemy phase, we go to upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. We gain a resource, and we pay the resource for the treasure hunter. So that is that turn. Oh yeah, this ready. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. So we had a doom. Encounter card for this turn is... Curse of Yik. Well, uh, I really want to get rid of this, so I'll just test it. Uh, testing uh, 4 versus 2. And it's a minus 2, so we get rid of the Curse of Yig. Second action, we'll explore. Uh, we'll investigate, rather. So... Oh yeah, and... Uh, we, I forgot to use the trigger ability here, so we should have placed two clues on it. So after Cavern of Yacht enters play, place clues on it equal to the current depth level. So we actually got a lot of clues here to investigate, so uh, let's investigate. I'm investigating uh, five, uh, I mean four versus one, zero. Oh yeah, these clues were have been removed a while ago and last action we'll just investigate again it's a minus one so we still need one clue and then we start to uh, need to start look for the steps of yours but that is the investigation phase we go to the enemy phase no enemies we go to upkeep uh, we draw well prepared and we gain one resource and we pay one resource for the treasure hunter so that is that turn let's go to the next turn we add a doom encounter card for this turn is serpent's ire uh, there is a serpent enemy in pursuit so find the serpent enemy in pursuit with the highest height value and spawn it engaged with you if an enemy is spawned by this effect test Agility X, where X is that enemy's fight value, if you fail, the enemy immediately attacks you. Well, okay. Um, this guy. Then it... Uh, well, uh, we are testing the agility, so I'm uh, testing 1 versus 4, no point in boosting it in any way. So, we fail, I take one damage and one horror here, because I think we're getting rid of the treasure hunter soon enough. And, uh, yeah, that is that. I'll go to... Investigation phase. Uh, I think we need to kill off this guy. So, so basically, I could just uh, ignore this guy and uh, well, no, uh, I'll 
I think I'm trying to evade it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's too taxing to try and kill it off, so I'll use that. Uh, well, maintenance. So I'm evading uh, two versus one. Call this elder sign. So we evade. Luckily. Uh, Uh, we get to check our top three cards for our ally. We get Lonnie. And uh, I think we get rid of this treasure hunter and start getting resources for Lonnie. So we'll investigate. It's a minus two, so we get this clue. And last action we'll explore. So let's see what we find. Well, we get the pathophobia, which shouldn't be here. Hmm. Uh, wait a moment. Uh, did we explore or have something that added that? Because haven't explored. Oh yeah, I think it's it's the best leg plans that caused that. Well, I, I might be mistaken, but I'll take it on the chin. So... Uh, nothing... Uh, nothing really to boost it with, so I'll just test it. It's a minus two, so... And... We fail. We have to take one horror here, kill off the treasure hunter, unfortunately. And uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, this guy readies. Engages us. Uh, we draw a card. We gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So, um, we are a doom. No enemies in pursuit. Encounter card is. Uh, resentful Wilds. Take one horror and attach Resentful Wilds to the nearest location without the copy of Resentful Wilds attached. Unfortunately, that means this game is over. We have no horror soak left, so nothing I can do about it. We'll take one horror, and we are defeated by horror. Well, uh, that's a shame because if I would have gotten Lonnie in play a bit earlier, we would have had a, a repair horror soaking engine in play. But it is what it is. Uh, nothing I can do about that. We get defeated by horror. But still, I really enjoy this <laughs> janky deck. Let's just see uh, how much we manage to kill during this, this game. So we first off... Uh, I'll just put this aside. So first we uh, got rid of the Heartbringer. We killed off a brood of Yig, another brood of Yig, then uh, uh, three times Vengeful Serpent because one of them came back, then also the Eater of the Depths and the Serpent of uh, from Yoth. And I think that's a pretty decent amount of enemies defeated. But yeah, I, I really hoped that I would have gotten a bit further into into uh, further down into the depths of the earth, but it is what it is. But still, uh, I really uh, like this deck and the idea behind it. Uh, the basic idea is to soak up damage a lot with the armor, then get some horror on Lonnie, then use a resource to 
remove a horror and damage so that is basically the engine uh, I didn't have I didn't get that into play soon enough in this uh, playthrough but I played a practice playthrough and in that the armor and Lonnie combo worked pretty well in this uh, I got both of the survival knife level 2s into play which resulted in to killing stuff up up quite 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 well so um, we could have surrendered our turn last turn and this guy would have tried to hit us so we would have used both of the survival knives to kill it off but alas it was not meant to be with all of this horror so the main problem of this deck is the horror uh, I have the hollowed mirror in the deck but uh, unfortunately we didn't draw it and uh, we didn't have resources to play it or anything like that but with that I think we could have uh, removed the, these horrors from play but I think maybe uh, thinking that we are fighting against monsters kerosene would have been a great card in this this deck because we are defeating enemy uh, monster enemies left and right so we could have healed a lot of horror with kerosene but yeah uh, i hope you like this playthrough and uh, thanks again uh, to the person who submitted the deck i'll add your uh, name and the deck list into the video description so thanks for watching and until next time